There's growing anger over the court decision that handed custody of baby Gammy's sister to convicted child sex offender David Farnell. Families of child sex victims are warning that offenders can never be trusted. And research reveals more than a third re-offend within two years of being released from jail. <laughs> For two years, the plight of baby Gammy has dominated headlines, but now the biggest worry is for his sister Piper, who will be looked after by her child molester father, David Farnell. Once you have that conviction, you should not be trusted with children. Jill Hammersley's 17-year-old daughter took her own life two years ago after a sex predator repeatedly assaulted her as a child. It took almost a decade for Abby to tell her mother about the abuse because her attacker threatened to kill her. The Wembley mother now fears for baby Piper. When will people hear that these pedophiles are so manipulative and so damaging and destroy innocent children's lives. Farnell was convicted of 22 sex offences against girls in the 1990s. Still, a WA family court judge decided Piper will remain in his custody instead of being reunited with his surrogate in Thailand, saying, while it is a matter of grave concern to leave any child in the home of a convicted sex offender, I have accepted the expert evidence that while there is a low risk of harm if Piper stays in that home, there is a high risk of harm if she were removed. The family law court didn't do what it should have done in the first place, and that is to not allow this baby, this little baby innocent girl, to live with a convicted sex offender. Australian couples using surrogates overseas aren't subject to any criminal background checks. Campaigners say that needs to change. Research revealing one in five Australian children will be sexually harmed before their 18th birthday. 90% of them by people they know and trust. And up to 41% of predators re-offend within two years of being released from jail. Under a raft of strict conditions, Farnell isn't allowed to be alone with his daughter. He also has to read her a tailor-made book every three months, explaining his past. Mrs Hammersley just hopes it's enough to keep Piper safe. I'm scared that if things don't change and our laws don't change, more children's lives will be at risk. Renee Henry, Nine News.